Right now, I can see into this office. I can tell what computer this person is using, and I didn't hack a thing. All I used was Google, and a secret free tool hackers rely on every day to find cameras, servers, and devices anywhere in the world. It's the first step of almost every cyber attack. It's called footprinting. And if you stick with me, I'll show you exactly how they do it and how to make sure you vanish from their results. If someone wanted to rob a bank, they wouldn't just storm in. They'd watch, learn when the guards change shifts, which door stays unlocked, where the cameras can't see. Hackers do the exact same thing, but their stakeout happens online. Instead of guard shifts, they're finding your employee names. Instead of unlocked doors, they're finding open ports. And instead of blind spots, they're hunting for forgotten servers and exposed files. And here's the scary part. They can do most of it without even touching your systems. Footprinting comes in two flavors, passive and active. Passive is stealth mode. They don't touch your network, just collect what's already out there. Searching your company name on Google, reading LinkedIn job posts to see what software you use, looking up your domain's hoys info to find contact emails, even downloading that PDF you forgot was on your site. It's like watching your house from the street with binoculars. You'll never know they were there. Active means they get closer pinging your server to see if it's live, running a tracer route to map its path, scanning for open ports to see what services you're running. It's the digital version of walking up to your door and gently turning the handle. Try this right now. Google this, site, example.com, file type, PDF. Swap in any public website. If you find a document, that's passive footprinting. And that's exactly where an attacker might start. Here's what makes footprinting so powerful. The tools are free, legal, and shockingly effective. First, who is? Type in a domain and see who owns it, their email, when it was registered, and where. It's like looking up the license plate of a website. Then, DNS lookups. Tools like NS Lookup or Dig reveal email servers, subdomains, even backup hosts. You're simply asking the internet, where does this domain send its traffic? And then there's Shodan, the secret tool from our title. It's the Google for devices, webcams, routers, industrial control systems. Shodan scans the entire internet and makes everything it finds searchable. Right now, Shodan can show you unsecured security cameras in cafes, offices, even private homes. All streaming live, no password. Imagine one of those was in your office. Finally, Google Dorking. By using advanced search tricks, attackers can find exposed spreadsheets, old backups, and forgotten login portals. Sometimes all it takes is a few clever keywords. So if all this info is public, how do you disappear from it? We'll get to that in a minute. This is why footprinting matters. If attackers can see more about your network than you can, you've already lost the first round. They don't need a zero-day exploit. They just need the thing you forgot was online. Your job. Whether you're in IT, cybersecurity, or just protecting your personal data, is to see what they see before they see it. Because the earlier you find it, the faster you can lock it down. Let's try it. Pick a public website. Search this in Google, site colon yourwebsite.com, space file type colon PDF. Found something? That's part of the site's attack surface. And you just spotted it the same way an attacker could. If you found something, don't name the site, just type in the comments, I'm exposed. Let's see how many of us made a real world discovery today. So how do you make sure you're not showing up in these searches? For Google, search your own domain with operators like site, yourdomain.com. Remove or restrict any sensitive files. Use a robots.txt file to tell search engines what not to index. For Shodan, never leave devices exposed directly to the internet. Put cameras and IoT gear behind a firewall or VPN. Close unused ports and use strong authentication. The less they can see, the less they can plan. Every cyber attack begins the same way, with observation, with footprinting. If you learn to think like the attacker, you can stop them before they make a move. So be curious, be early, and take the first step before they do. Next up, I'll show you how hackers turn this information into phishing, breaches, and full-on network compromise. Hit subscribe, and let's stay one step ahead together.